Hey, what's up guys? Crazy here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky once more. And of course, today we have the Origins update. But in this video, I want to show you how to find Volcano Planet. Now, as I've said in one of the previous videos, these are basically my favorite new environments that have been just added in the game. And I'm going to show you in this video how to find one, especially since it can look really freaking cool. Like if you want to find something with a ton of volcanoes, with a ton of thunderstorms, then I'm going to show you all of that in this video so let's get started of course i'm on one of these planets right here as you can see it's pretty tame right now because there's absolutely nothing happening like the storm is gone i think that only like this one is about to erupt right here by the way yes volcanoes in this game can erupt and not just that they can absolutely shred you um by the way i think there's some creatures here that i'm not really sure what they even do so what is even that like, I, I see these jumping and holy moly, what? <laughs> okay. These are definitely new. I didn't notice these before, but there's like a bunch of these. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what to call them. Like, just spinning little bullet thingies and they just go through the ground. That's actually really freaking cool. It's actually erupting. Holy moly. Okay, so that is actually doing all of its stuff over there. Like, there's a lot of fumes coming out, a lot of volcanic activity. But uh, let's go into space and actually I want to show you exactly what you need to do in order to, like, find one of these really crazy planets. So now I, I need to just find my ship. And there's, like, a ton of volcanoes all over the place. Like, if you look at some of these planets, some of them can spawn multiple in a very small location. And and it's just crazy even the fauna seems to be affected by it like the trees and the outlines they definitely seem to be smogging and whatnot I even saw planets that um, kept spawning firestorms but I think those are distinct than these ones we're gonna jump into one of these volcanoes by the way really really soon but I'm just gonna go in space and show you exactly what you need to do in order to find these so basically as you can see i'm in a blue system these are basically like the pinnacle when it comes to finding really exotic stuff and this is what you're going to want to look into like find a blue level system and look for one that has more than like a couple of planets because that increases your chances to actually find one of these volcano planets at least four planets and i think that this could be a good fit like there's a good chance that it will spawn one of these planets Planets. and here we are so let me just check a few things I'm gonna just go into my screen right here and I think that this is yeah I think this is actually a perfect one so according to the patch notes these should be rare but I'm finding them quite commonly in most of the blue systems that I'm visiting but I'm not gonna lie I don't mind that at all it looks absolutely gorgeous I got some really awesome shots just from these three right here but the planet that you're going to want to look for looks something like this if you played the game up until now it's kind of like the same color that usual desert planets had back in the days but in blue systems they have a chance to spawn like this magma planet or like fiery storm or anything that kind of gives you a general idea that there's some volcanic activity happening over there and this is a magma planet there's no way that this doesn't have volcanoes let's just see it should be oh there it is look at that well actually this is green it's not even red i was not even expecting volcanoes with green coloring but i i think this is now the way it works and basically that is the volcano in the background and look at that it happened holy shit so everything is kind of ruined right here i am noticing a bunch of these i haven't paid attention to these so this is just a mineral also, it's ferrite dust, okay, that makes sense. If I mine it, it just gives me ferrite dust, like the usual. Okay, this is a storm crystal, so there's definitely going to be a storm happening right here, eventually. And by the way, this was one of the crazy shots that I got in the previous planet. I'm gonna go over there again to show it to you guys. But you can spawn on a planet with volcanoes, for example, and it can also happen for thunderstorms to happen during the storms themselves. And I think that there's even a small chance for tornadoes to spawn, it's just all around them so can you imagine how crazy it would be if we had something like this like storms tornadoes and erupting volcanoes on the same thing that would be absolutely crazy not gonna lie i think that this reminds me of world of warcraft a little bit outland definitely reminds me of that so let's jump into lava extreme heat holy shit oh it's solid actually okay 
so it is killing me it's definitely killing me but you have to keep in mind that i have a really really good equipment and the first time i jumped into one of these i didn't pay any attention to it i think that i thought it was static but in fact it's not static it's moving all the time and holy shit so there's a lot of smog going on it just erupted like that so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go back to my planet the one that actually has storms and then we're gonna jump in and uh, see what happens because here it's a little bit too tame for my taste okay so there it is my flame ruptured planet okay so check this out guys oh my god it's actually thunderstorm and a freaking superstorm and the volcanoes going on right here this is just crazy like look at all of these effects i can barely see what's happening in front of my eyes and it's just there's way too much damage at this point but during these thunderstorms what you should know is that you can essentially continuously use your jetpack and almost not deplete it if you have it like properly upgraded because there is this new mechanic that makes it much better during the firestorms and uh, it works the same even on let's just say um, frost planets if you go in with your multi-tool it's not going to overheat as easily during blizzard and i think there's like many other effects in the game that have been added so yeah look at my shield going down dude what the hell extreme storm just melting through it like this and if i go here i'm probably gonna just collapse nope that's not gonna work okay so now what i need to do is to just get the hell out of here because it's it, there there's way too much damage dude like look at that look at that my my extreme storm is still destroying me is this is this lava or is it a creature there's no way this is a creature dude uh it's a creature how on earth is that a creature, dude? What? Maybe like a uh, big tortoise just caught on fire and got covered by uh, lava and that's it. Dude, I, I keep dying. I keep dying, man. This is not safe. So yeah, this is it with the volcano planets. This is how you actually find one and this is what you can find in them. And of course, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to try to cover as many of these as possible. Now, what I'm looking for is one of those really awesome looking archives like the huge mega structures that have been added in the game. I'm still searching for one and once that's done, I'm going to post a video too because it actually has some really awesome cool things in it including some brand new vendors and some other stuff that you can discover so as always if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up on it would be super awesome and yeah it would be awesome if you also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video